Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today we are making these awesome coat hangers. So basically it takes a command. So you must have cheats on for this to work. And all, but very cool. It could be great for an adventure map with a house in it. You're like, I don't know any decorations. Well, just use this. I think it's super totally awesome, and no one will ever think it's not awesome. I right, look, it basically is floating up in the air, but technically not. There's a custom command in the description that makes it look like it's floating in the air that you must use to basically kind of make these, and I'll leave the command in the description so that way you can just copy and paste it or you can just write out yourself it's not like a million words or something like that but yeah so first you need to place down an armor stand a simple armor stand and kind of sneak behind it and put a tripwire hook now you need to use the custom command if I can move this, I can show you the exact thing. Here it is. Voila. Oh, and, yeah. So you hit enter. Let me try again. It wasn't kind of glowing orange, which means I am on it. Which means the enter did nothing. So you hit enter. And it brings up this big chat. Don't worry about it. It's super big. No one would try read it. And yeah, it's super big and just don't worry about it. So now I got this leather tunic that which is dyed and I can put it on here. And literally I am going to show you again just in case if you weren't paying attention. If you were, then here's just a review. So you need to place down the trip, place down armor stand, place down a trip wire hook. You cannot do it in the opposite order. You must place the trip wire hook last you can you must place the armor stand first otherwise it won't let you place the armor stand if you place it first here out here i'll try it for you first now i'm just doing nothing with it so yeah then let me is and let me is do a custom command again now it is invisible that's what the thing does. So basically, it makes it invisible, so you can only see the items. And the item is a chest plate. So basically, now you can't see everything else, which makes it look like it's floating, and it's getting hung up by that. And literally, you can actually put anything on this. So if anyone was to kind of ruin, but so you can kind of ruin the effect. Pretend you have a lovely golden chest plate on here. Play some golden boots. Well, it might look lovely, but it still look kind of. Actually, it does look lovely. Hmm. <clears throat> Might as well if you use the same thing, but a lead tunic and then. Okay. Well, I guess it sometimes like be looks beautiful, but sometimes not. But literally, you can put anything on here. If I was to take this off and then place it on boots, well. If we get rid of the tripwire hook, now it looks like there's this boot, which looks super awesome as well. So, yeah, that's another trick. And so let me just kind of get rid of the boots. And, but it looks way, probably looks way worse with the pants. Why don't I try it myself? So, way, leggings? Yeah, it looks a lot worse. If I said I chest plate, not too bad. Off I side boots. Now I'm getting to a fancy. That looks awesome. Okay, if you get the entire set of armor, except the helmet, it looks totally awesome. So yeah, just experimenting. You need to experiment sometimes. Sometimes you just need to try and figure out what does what. So yeah. You can literally put anything. You know what? I'll keep dying to this plate. And there's also a cool fact. You can also interact with these. Like I was showing you. So basically let me go into. 
um, game of survival. This command will also be in the description. You, it's not that much, but still you can copy and paste it. So, I'm ready for fighting, and well, I don't have any armor on, as you can see. I can't have this leather tunic, but I don't think that's gonna help. I could just rip to pieces. So, let me take my lovely diamond chest plate and put it on, like all those armor parts. So, let me go back into creative, and let me just get something. I tried, there's a fake feel, so I just kind of broke everything and put it back the way it was, so yeah. And actually, I'm not ready to do it yet, because I need to get spawning. So, spawn, um, I have it on peaceful, so, um, okay, I think I've got it. So, let me just get an iron sword. This one to kind of get. So yeah, let me go back into survival. And oh no, it's a dangerous villager! Kill it, kill it! So I killed the villager, and now I can go back into creative. Throw his sword away. Go back up. And I am ready for bed. It's night, so my and I don't want a rough sleep, so might as well put the thing back. And that's a cool feature. You can actually interact with it, which means you can actually take it on and off. So it could also be like for a dressing room, a decoration for a house. Your friend will never notice unless if they watch this video. And also, as you can see, I made this invention. It's a clock from the last tutorial, which never existed because I have my view but it's on a clock and as you can see there's two different types and really this one just updates my game mode and if I flip it early and I am in survival pretend that put me in survival oh no I'm stuck here forever don't worry just pull switch I am back in creative so yeah I'll show you that in the next episode I'll explain to you and everything so yeah really you can make flat fast clocks Alright, this can kill you in no time. I'll show you in the next episode and hope to see you all later. Hold on.